Joseph. It's a story about David. He is a 30-year-old single man from, a, from Warsaw. Uh, he has a pretty good job. He works as a translator. He likes fancy clothes. He has his own apartment. He enjoys his solitary life. And we could say that on the surface, his life is seemingly okay, but then underneath him, his shell of a comfortable lifestyle begins to crack. His mother uh, suffers from Alzheimer's disease, and David is simply unable to cope with the disease. The disease takes away from his mother's identity, knowledge, and her identity. And David is a guy who defines himself through knowledge, but as well as uh, material belongings that he surrounds himself with. So, um, one day when he attends a professional translation, he forgets a phrase he was continuously and meticulously repeating in his head, preparing for the translation. And the translation is a fiasco. Then he attends a trivia night with his friends and he gives a completely wrong answer. So a sense of failure really settles in. And uh, this begins to unfold his existential crisis that's manifested in the external world. Suddenly, uh, everybody in the city is gone, apartments are deserted, streets are empty, and David is faced with vast emptiness of Warsaw. It's a city that's very eerie in its uh, monumental abandoned glory. And um, in the beginning, he considers leaving the city, but then he doesn't really know what he would take, what he would leave behind, and besides where to go. He has, un he has no connection with nobody. So he enjoys the quiet space of the landscape he experiences. And um, at first it's almost like a holiday, he's a tourist, but then the holiday is over, the electricity uh, stops running and also tap water also stops running and David needs to face the vast emptiness around him. And he departs on a quest to find answers to what really happened. And this answer is not provided. Around him are just the clues of the existence of other people. And he breaks into the apartments of other people. He tries to deconstruct the life that was there before. But there are just objects, material signatures of the existence of others. And in the seminal scene of the film, David literally throws out the window all his material belongings, everything that stands for his intellectual and material existence. And all this stuff just literally crashes down against the concrete and explodes in a slow motion of abstract forms and textures. And then there is only David, just a guy, in an empty space in his apartment. And then there is a question, who is he? But the real test comes when everything comes back to normal, when the city returns to its usual rhythm, when people show up and busy streets are full of action. And that's when David needs to face himself, he needs to face his mother's illness, and he needs to face the world around him. And the questions and themes I would like to explore in, the, in false positive are the issues related to loss of control, of uncertainty, of doubt, and possibilities of acceptance amidst all these uncertain circumstances. And as a director, Mm, I would like to progress from a visual and sonic cacophony of a large city of Warsaw and move into a space of stillness and silence when there is only breath and there is only movement 
and if there is sound, then everything, so my no details matter. So, uh, when Kasia told me the story of false positive for the first time, I felt really connected quite very fast, because I felt that some part of uh, David is also in me. And her strong vision was very, very strong from the beginning. Um, and I learned about her visual sensibility from her previous works. Um, we want to shoot in Warsaw, it's my hometown. It's where my company is based, when we can co collaborate with trusted uh, service uh, companies that I work with. We want to shoot in April and May, and we want to use uh, Bank Holiday Week to shoot the abandoned uh, city uh, sequence. And yes, uh, continuing about the war, so it's very important to us because it's a city that has many layers and many textures just like our character David and we're interested in tapping into that layers, into the external space but also into this internal world that is actually manifested in physical spaces we experience. So thank you Kasia, the director. I'm coming, producer. Thank you for listening.